In today's video, we will go on a private boat tour around one of the most famous and beautiful places in the Philippines, Coron. Join my friend Roman and me as we explore some of the most astonishing places I have ever seen. This is what you come to see in the Philippines. But will it be totally overcrowded with tourists and will that ruin the experience? What can you expect at a world famous place like this? Let's find out. Feel free to join. Okay, hello. Oh. What is your name? Russell. Russell. Okay, yeah. nice to meet you. And you? Rick. Ah, I met no. you yesterday already, no. right? No. Russell. No? The other guys. Okay, another guy. Okay, let's jump on the boat then. All right, so it's gonna be just this boat and then I think we're just gonna be four persons here. So, Roman, my friend, and then the two tour guides slash boat captains slash chefs. They're also going to prepare food later here on the boat for us. Okay, let's go to one of the most beautiful places in all of Southeast Asia. These are the very typical Filipino boats, shaped like this. For example, the boats in Thailand or Malaysia, they look very different. So I would call this the typical Filipino style of the boats here. Wow, it looks very beautiful here with all these uh, limestone rock formations. Reminds me a little bit of some areas in southern Thailand. Yeah, as you can see, we're basically entering the lagoon here now. And wow, this is already beautiful. This is, wow. Yeah, the, the ride from the, from the pier to get here was like 10 minutes now. So very quick and easy actually. Yeah, the water looks already really clear here. I can literally see the ground from here. It might be hard to see on the camera, but I would guess it's maybe five meters or so. Okay, so I think we are going to enter the island here and then we have to hike up there and then from up there you have a beautiful view. Yeah, apparently one person died here before and since then it's mandatory to wear the life jackets. Oh, maybe you can hold the camera. Okay, so much. Thank you very much. Okay, so the plan is now, first we're going to hike up there to see the, the beautiful viewpoint and then there's also a freshwater lake, I think, in the lagoon here. And in order to swim there, we need the life jackets. But wow, what a place. Look how beautiful it is here. Some little shops here, some music playing. Okay guys, are you ready for one of the most famous spots in all of the Philippines? Okay, so this is the shot you always see on Instagram and on social media. And then behind it, it looks like this. This is the side you usually don't see. There's actually a cave right here, which let's see how deep it is. Oh, I think you can actually, in theory, enter the cave here. Okay, so we have one or the most famous Instagram spot in the Philippines now checked. And yeah, let's go straight to the next one then, which is a lake, which is around the corner here. Yeah, I really have to remind myself to enjoy places like this more often. When I film these videos, I'm yeah, not really in a rush, but you know, like filming videos is like work for me. So uh, I have to always think about, oh, what, what do I film? What do I say? Something like that. But then I look at the footage later at home and I always think, oh, wow, this looks so incredible, beautiful. I should have appreciate the moment a bit more. And that's what I'm trying to do today as well. Okay, are you ready for the next super beautiful famous spot? This is the lake and I think it's a freshwater lake actually or a mixed lake. But yeah, check it out. Whew. Insane visibility. Yeah. yeah, it's very clear water here. And yeah, as you can see, it's almost nobody here now. Oh wow, this is just... Uh, wow. It's no salt water. It's fresh water, right? Yeah. So it's actually very, very nice that this is not pure salt water. So I was, when I was jumping into the water, I had some water in my mouth and you can taste immediately that it's not regular ocean salt water. And you know, the good thing about having a life jacket, you can just uh, float here, which is actually pretty cool as well. Okay, we are swimming to the cave here now, but uh, yeah, I'm really out of words. This is so beautiful. Just swimming here in the calm lake. Wow. This is just the first place of today, but I think already this is one of the most beautiful places I have seen in, in the world. Yeah. I think we have to uh, swim through here. Okay. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Oh, it's like a, like a little cave in here with very clear water. I can still see the ground here. Oh, you wow. Can still see the sky. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is cool. Wow. <laughs> okay, in theory, I think you can swim even further. 
but it looks very dark. <laughs> <laughs> it feels a little bit weird to just swim into the darkness. I mean, I can still see the ground. Oh, this is a bit scary. I think it's like another room like this, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But very dark. Very dark, yeah. And we made it out of the cave. Whew. That was interesting. And you can't really see it from the outside if you don't know that there's a cave to swim into. Yeah. Already now, one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to. Not only in the Philippines, not only in Southeast Asia. This is incredible. Reminds me a little bit about uh, Koh Phi Phi in Thailand. If you do some island tours there around Maya Bay, also world famous, it looks actually very similar. How would you rate this? 9.5. 9.5. Yes. So there's still space left yeah, for improvements. Still. Okay, we are back on the boat. We are leaving this beautiful first stop now. Off to the next beautiful one. And then the idea is actually uh, we're going to have lunch. I think already you have some fish already here. Started to prepare already. Fish and chicken. Fish and chicken. Oh, you grilled it already. Yeah. Ah, you grilled it over there. Yeah. So this is actually pretty cool. So we have a grill right on the on the boat. Ah, we have shrimp down there. Okay. Yeah. Filipino foods. Pancit. Filipino food. Okay, that you looks know good. Pancit? Yeah, pancit. <laughs> pancit noodles. You come here every day, right? Yeah. Is it sometimes still? No. Sometimes no. Sometimes no. For one week, sometimes rest is one day. So sometimes only once oh, a week. Yeah. But you still think it's beautiful? Yeah. Although you've seen it like maybe a hundred times. Yeah, this is what I like about having a private tour. It's more chilled, right? It's not rushing from one place to the other, together with 50 other people. You can take your time, you can leave whenever you want, you can stay as long as you want. This is Twin Lagoon? Yeah. Here we have to use the kayak, right? Yeah, we can use the kayak. Yeah. That's the second lagoon, inside the other side. Yeah. And after that, we can see the tunnel there, inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can go under. But first, then let's enjoy the food that they prepared. Mm -hmm. Okay, chicken, shrimp, uh, noodles and the fish, water and Coca-Cola. Do you want to eat with us? Yeah, definitely. I don't think we can finish this. Yeah. You want to eat as well? You can eat as well with us. I think this is too much for us. <laughs> I don't think we can finish this, so I don't mind if they would actually join us. Oh, but yeah, guys, what a place to have lunch, right? Check out the view from here. The water here, once again, super clear. But this, uh, yeah, we have a lot of boats here now. So this is, yeah, one of the most famous spots around here, obviously. But still, I would rate this a very beautiful place to have lunch, definitely. Oh, the noodles are really good. Wow, I really like the noodles. And fresh, juicy pieces of chicken here. All right, let's also try the fish here. So we can actually get huge pieces of meat here. I think you can really taste that it's fresh fish. Probably uh, it was catched this morning. The place um here in a stunde to chill. Yeah. Would be a nice place to chill for an hour, that yeah. was what he was just saying. But yeah, we didn't finish all the food, so I will just invite the boys to uh, to try to eat the rest. And I think we are now going to take the kayak to uh, yeah, swim into the Twin Lagoon here. You can see already over there many people are doing the same. They're actually charging a lot of money here for the kayaks. You have to pay, I think, 1,500 pesos extra if you do want to have a kayak here. But without the kayak, it's basically almost impossible to explore the Twin Lagoon. That's what I have been told. I mean, actually, I can recommend the place where we booked the tour. Yesterday, I went around the town and spoke to several different operators. And then the place where I ended up booking the tour, they made the best impression. We sat down together, planned the trip exactly. Also, the food is included here. We have the kayak. And we in total paid a little bit over 100 US dollar for the whole tour, including everything. And yeah, if you happen to be here, you want to book the same tour from the same place or a different tour as well, I will leave information about the place where we booked it uh, in the description. We didn't finish everything too much, okay. but very mass it up. Mass it up. Mass it up. You. you are a very good chef. Oh, yes. <laughs> you, can, you can finish if you want. Do you speak Tagalog here or Bisaya? Tagalog. Tagalog, right? But you speak Bisaya? No, Bisaya and Lami Kayu. Ah, Lamikaya, but I'm from Cebu. Are you from Cebu? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you speak Visaya. What do you prefer, Tagalog or Visaya? Now I'm still longer in Palawan, but I little bit speak Visaya. Little bit Visaya only. Yeah. So you understand speak Tagalog. Yeah, yeah. So your Tagalog is better yeah. now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. You know where Masara is masarap Tagalog lami. for delicious. Lame. And in southern Philippines, Tagalog, Cebu and South, they say Lami Kayu. Okay, let's take a kayak ride through the beautiful Trin Lagoon here. <laughs> Alright, how do I hold my camera and pedal at the same time? 
Okay, so this is the entrance to the Twin Lagoon. And wow, this looks equally as beautiful as the previous spot, I would say. Oh, there's one guy standing on the rocks over there. Probably a very cool photo spot. And yeah, in case you decide to uh, save the 1,500 pesos that you pay extra for the kayak, then you have to basically swim through the lagoon. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, check this out. So we have to drive underneath there. And I'm just wondering, well, we have to duck down a lot then. Yeah. Like this? Okay, I think is that there's another kayak on the other side. Uh, well, you can go first. We wait on the side here. Okay. Oh, so it's actually possible. Very possible. <laughs> Very possible. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, no more incoming traffic yet. Okay. All right. All right. I think we have to ride down like this. And then, oh yeah, actually this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Okay, that was fun. And now we are inside another beautiful lagoon here. But all these limestone rocks are all around us. Okay, and I think we have to continue over there. So we can basically make a loop back to our boat. And they said it's gonna take like 20 minutes or so. Okay, so it's peaceful here. It's quiet. It's very beautiful. We have almost no people in this part of the lagoon. Just a few more people coming from there. And yeah, the sun is about to set. Actually, that's going to be hopefully the highlight of today later in the video. We're trying to uh, see the beautiful sunset on one of the, the places around here. Oh, we just see there's a vendor here on the boat. Hello, hello. Yeah, what are you selling here? Okay. You have uh, some snacks? Oh, let's see if we can come closer and have a look. Here or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Oh, check it out. Coca-Cola? Like a swimming market nice. here. How much is it? 40. 40, 40 pesos only. Oh, I was uh, expecting a very high price uh, for the location here. You have um, Sprite? Right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is very unexpected. Suddenly there's a guy here selling some drinks and snacks. Oh, very nice. Yeah, okay, okay. 40 as well? Okay. You have money, right? Okay. Thank you very much. It's fine. It's okay. Thank Keep your change. You. Thank you very much. What else? Do you have what snacks do you have here? Chip, chip. Chips? Yeah. Let's have a look what he's selling. Oh, I'm about to lose the pedal. Oh I don't we we just ate. We are very full, but I'm just curious to see what you're selling. What uh chip? Chips. I have cheese rings. Cheese cracker. Cheese. Oh so cheese. much. Crispy pata? What is it? Crispy. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm very full. I'm just curious to see what, yeah, what, you, what you have. You come with this boat from the from Koron? Mm -hmm. oh, you have a boat mm -hmm. out there? Ah, okay. Oh, very, very good business. I mean, he's the only person out here selling drinks and snacks. Okay, Thank have you a good day. Much. Bye bye. Okay, actually, guys, when you're coming here, I do not recommend to uh, get the glass boat because actually it's worthless. You can't really see anything with this boat anyway. And it's very difficult to operate this boat because we don't have a, have a fin. So these uh, plastic boats, the usual ones, they have a, a fin to stabilize the boat, which we don't have here. So it's actually very difficult to... Uh, thank you, yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. It's actually very difficult to operate this boat. And also they charge like 500 pesos extra if you want a glass boat compared to the regular kayak. So uh, <laughs> I recommend to take a regular one. Oh, it's funny. As soon as we stop, we just this boat just turns around because there's no stabilization. Oh. <laughs> I think the girls over there are struggling too. It's a bit difficult to operate this boat. See, as soon as we stop, we're just drifting away in circles. Okay, we just figured out it seems to be easier when just the person on the back is doing the work. Then it's easier to stabilize the direction. Oh, no, we're doing a turn again. But now we're turning again. <laughs> okay, we made it back to our boat. That was now like 20 to 30 minutes, I would say. Very picturesque, so I can really recommend if you're coming here, get a kayak because otherwise yeah, you have to swim all the way around, which would take way longer. But yeah, I can't really recommend to take this boat. No, no. <laughs> take a regular kayak. <laughs> all right, have a look. The sun is looking beautiful now. I think we will have a good sunset today. We were a bit worried earlier about it. But I think we might be lucky. So we have one more stop now, which is a shift wreck where we can dive to. 
I maybe cannot dive because it's too deep for me, but he is actually a free diver, so he will be able to dive down. And then the final stop will be a beautiful place to watch the sunset, which I'm really looking forward to. There's a shipwreck over there. Where's the shipwreck coming from? Japanese? Oh, just a fishing boat. I thought it's from the, from the Japanese from the Second World War. Oh, that's another one. Ah, okay. So we have a fishing boat wreck here, which apparently yeah, is 10 meters down. So that is too deep for me to dive down. Actually, I did a free diving course in the Philippines last year as well, but I wasn't too successful with it. All right, so as soon as I jumped into the water, I basically could see some fish right away, right next to the boat. There were these colorful fish swimming. And then I was also able to actually see the shipwreck, but uh, yeah, I was not able to dive down, but my friend Roman was able to dive down to the wreck and he was able to capture this footage from inside the wreck. So you can see it looks really, really old. It's just a skeleton looking wreck basically, but I think it's actually pretty cool if you are able to dive down. It's about 10 meters deep. How was it down there? Nice. Nice? Yeah. You could actually, so he has some footage on his GoPro, which uh, yeah, I will use on this video as well. So you just saw the footage already. So he took it with the GoPro. So you can actually swim inside the shipwreck, right? Yeah, it's, it's open. Yeah. It's more like a skeleton of a ship. Visibility was not the best, but still okay. But still uh, worth it for you to go down? Yes. Definitely. Yeah, right. Okay, now a sunset spot? Yeah, our okay. last one. All right, so this is the final spot. A beautiful little beach right here, which in theory at least a perfect sunset view. At the moment the sun is still hidden behind the clouds, but I think it could look good if the sun goes down between the clouds later on. Very good. <laughs> good job today so far. Okay, so if you come unprepared, there's actually a little shop here. Where you can buy some drinks and snacks. Ich glaube, uh, hinter dem Stein da könnte ein guter Spot sein. And I'm just suddenly speaking German in the vlog. <laughs> behind the rock could be a good place. That's what I said. Okay, so we do have one other boat here with a few people, but that's all right. Other than that, I think this is a very beautiful spot for the sunset that is about to happen in like half an hour. I like the contrast here. You have beautiful water on this side and then right behind you, you have these huge cliffs right here and then a little beach to chill. Okay, what do you say? Should we drink a sunset beer? Yes. I am prepared. <laughs> I brought some beers for exactly this moment. Okay, here we go. The classical San Miguel light. Nice. Philippines' best beer, in my opinion. Oh. <laughs> oh. It, was, it was in your bag for like... Yeah, it was in my bag. <laughs> okay, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. And also, cheers to you guys. Good to have you here. Thanks for visiting me. We are actually uh, friends since high school. I think since 10th grade in high school. Yeah. And uh, he's currently uh, traveling around in Asia. You're already in the Philippines for almost a month, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he was free diving. Free diving. What was the island? Uh, Camutes. Cam it's near Cebu. Yeah, near Cebu. Yeah. So he was uh, doing some free diving there and then he decided he's coming over. So we can spend a few days here in this paradise in the Philippines. Oh, but actually, we have met many times around this year. Yeah. A few weeks ago, we met already in Malaysia when I was there for a few days. Actually, we met in the Philippines at the beginning of this year as well. In January. Yeah, and then we met in Bali in April. Yeah. <laughs> so we are meeting ourselves all around Asia, basically throughout the whole year. But yeah, usually I'm enjoying a lot of these moments just by myself yeah. because I'm traveling solo most of the times. But it's also good to have a good friend here now. Definitely. So, cheers, cheers once again. <laughs> Not the most perfect sunset today, but hey, it doesn't need to be perfect every time in order to be beautiful, right? So it is actually very cloudy right now, but that's still alright. We still enjoyed our time here, drinking the beer. Okay, salamat guys. Oh, Tip for you. you. Thank you very much. Nice time. to meet you guys. It was a good tour. Thank you very much. What's your final rating? It's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? <laughs> yeah. Oh, earlier you said 9.5, the first but, spot. But the total tour was like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Also. It was now, I think, like six, six and a half hours. And yeah, I enjoyed it as well. And if you haven't seen my previous video from the Philippines, then feel free to check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.